Peace in everyone, welcome to the Dragon's Number Show, today we're playing Lizard! This is a game by Brad Smith, uh, released on February 8th, uh, February 6th, 2018. It's available now on Steam for the price of $10, a key was provided me, uh, provi provided to me through Whovit by the developer, so thank you very much to the devs. We're gonna discover it, and let's do this. Peace in, Typhoon Scotland. Okay, so there's three things here. Lizard by Brad Smith. Okay. Oh, this is version two. Okay, so... It's a, it's a very NES kind of a game. You can press select to, to retry. You can pause. My lizard is the lizard of knowledge. 31, 37, 8. You can jump. You can do your lizard thing, which is this. And, um... Okay, and select makes you explode. Which actually takes a long time, but I think the reason why it takes a long time is because... Um, uh, because you respawn at checkpoints. These are checkpoints. I played the game for like a minute. So... I'm not gonna say that I know nothing, I just know next to nothing. Yeah. I don't think I have an attack, I think I need to avoid everything. You know what, we're gonna try it out. Well, that was a terrible way of trying it out. I'm pretty sure though, I'm pretty sure uh, that I don't have an actual attack. Maybe over time. So, one hit death. <sighs> the jumping mechanics are not going to be my friend. I got a coin! Um... Didn't realize you could go left at the start. <laughs> it is, uh, it is a bit gaming. By the way, this, I can pass through this. I feel like earlier, uh, there was something very similar that I couldn't pass through, so... Okay. Another coin! Part of me wants to go down, but I actually have no idea if I can. Oh, well there's a chain, so I can. I wanna save! Can I- Oh! Okay, there you go. So you can- Once you, you've acquired stuff, you can go back and save. And I kind of want to die now. Um, okay. Blue frogs are bad, okay. No! Well, you can't go back up. So the only way up is down. Blue frog is bad. Doesn't that feel like a shirt? Blue frog is bad. It's a big silly, all the reachable coins are on the left. Oh, well, there you go. Well, th I mean... I don't know what coins do yet, so... I almost died. 
Those are holes, aren't they? Are they holes? No, they're not. Is that lava or is that quicksand? It's lava. I have not saved in quite some time. So, in another game I would kind of jump forward and move back to kind of trigger the uh, the frog, but I can't do that in that in this game. There isn't enough air control, so yeah. Oh well, there you go. <gasps> I almost saved. Oh, there's a computer. Three bones, which is probably death. So, I'm already really getting annoyed. Okay, I know pandas. Pandas are bad. Yeah. No! <laughs> oh, no. This is not a game that I'm gonna be playing for a long time. I got the coin! The fact that there's not enough saving uh, save spots is going to kill me. It's going to kill my enjoyment of this game. Uh, amongst other things, like, I almost died there. Um, water is not- it doesn't kill you, by the way. Oh. Hello. What? Okay. Well, this game just became... Um, what is it called? Little Nemo, I think? I can now double jump, but only in water. So, I, I have my lizard thing. My lizard thing when I'm blue is to jump again, but only in water. So I'm not going to... Uh... How did I not notice until now that he was carrying something in his mouth? Why is there not a safe spot here? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why there's not more safe spots. Um, you were... B before I started playing, I, I was told to... I was told that this would be very interesting. And... Yeah, it, it definitely has... I'll keep your coins safe. Just drop them in my back. Okay. A as people know, as people who watch me play and watch me complain know, there is one thing that I cannot stand in games, and that's losing progress. And this is a game that is made to make you lose progress. It's designed in that way, so... Um... You know, there, there is... See your lizard... C-E... 
your lizard should be able to operate problem free from for many years lizard w Yeah, this is a game that just wastes your time in so, so many capacities. I don't like those blue frogs. I wish I had to. Okay, oh, there you go. There you go. The snail is solid, but does not kill me. What is- It sounds like a martial arts thing. The snail is solid, but it does not kill me. I don't know how to get that coin. I don't know what coins do, so I'm gonna ignore them. Mm. Th this- This screen is changing thing. I mean, that- I know some Nintendo. I don't think a lot of Nintendo games did that, but uh, but a lot of other games, other um, consoles did that uh, because they they couldn't do smooth scro scrolling. Actually, it reminds me of uh, Battle Kid. Battle Kid did that as, as well. supposed to be retro difficult oh man but is it good retro difficult I don't think so there is such a thing as bad retro difficult you immediately know the candlelight is fired and the meal was cooked a long time ago what I'll require regular cleaning with soap and water. Do not use solvents such as Okay. I'm not a fan of the fact that there are passwords but no save points. No actual saves. Oh, these things okay as long as you don't go too fast these things just run run away from you that's actually really good to learn I think the green frogs are supposed to teach me that but I did not notice at all um, so retro difficult is an interesting concept because you, you have games like battle toads I don't feel like Battletoads age well. People talk about Battletoads a lot, but I feel like it's the hardcore of the hardcore who is looking for a dumb challenge, who loves those games. Um, I don't feel like... like It's a rare game, and it, uh, Battletoads is... Oh, th this is a map. Recto! Verso! There's a castle! Do I have access to this map? I, I wish I had access to the map. Okay, so it was a fun one. I think the best NES games are those who were fair. Tough, but fair. Oh, I- and I'm back here now. Okay then. Like, um... Benzene... Thinner... Blah 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 is specifically... I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what these are for!
Yeah, I've never played Kaizo Mario, but, um... I feel like the, the games that, that age the best, Mario, um... Mega Man... I mean, Castlevania is still hailed as a pretty... It, it, Castlevania is a super tough game, and that's still hailed as a pretty uh, great game. I don't know, it's... It's tough to nail... Difficulty. Retro difficulty. I did not notice those blue frogs. I think I can do this jump. I think so. I'm not sure though. Ninja Gaiden, super tough. Uh, people, uh, people uh, definitely hail that as a pretty great game. But I don't feel like like none of those games. I don't think uh, except Mario. None of those games have actually one-hit deaths. Okay, so I can bounce. Damn it. I hate the jumping mechanics in this game, by the way. Th this, like... It's weird because I, I just came back from, from uh, SteamWorld Dig where I mentioned that movement, m fun movement is important. And the jumping in this game does not make uh, jumping fun. It does not make movement fun, I should say. I was hoping to jump very high, but I guess not. I have no no idea if I should leave my uh, reading skin there, but I but I am because I thus far reading has not been helpful. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, save po save point. I can't bounce on water. A lot of these are fine except birds. I mean, well, I I don't I haven't hit, been hit by birds yet. But um I'll, I'll stick with this guy. I don't know why it doesn't feel like I'm actually supposed to bring another skin with me. I wish I had a map. This is going to be quite unfortunate. Um, I wish I had a map of uh, the entire, the in, you know, the world that I'm discovering as I'm discovering it. Remove it. There are other skins, and if I get too close, they will. Crab! Maps are for modern games. Well, I mean, Metroid 1 had a map. And that was a black box game. I think Metroid 1 had a map. Now I'm, now I'm not so sure. Did Metroid 1 have a map? It didn't? Okay. Well, there you go. Uh. So the jump sucks and you only- you- you get one hit deaths. Um... 
if there's one thing that that um, Nintendo platformers were known for were was their great character movements and jumping mechanics. I feel, and this does not accomplish that. What? Okay. I've never had that before. Huh. I actually... I accidentally went back to the start of the game. And by that I mean the main menu. I don't think I've ever had a game where I was moving around and I went back to the main menu. I I kind of like it. You know what? I I've never seen anything like that. I think it's it's clever. So, I will give it props for that. Yeah. Okay. Also, the world loops. That's uh, that's the castle that we saw on the map, and the castle was on the right. But at this point, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, and. Going places is kind of a chore. I don't know what coins do. I hope not. If, if the goal of this game is to get all the coins, then... Um, immediate, immediate. No. Uh, no! Like, the jumping sucks! The jumping sucks, and, like, the good Nintendo games had awesome jumping. Whether it be Mega... Th this should have... Th this should have... Had... Have... Had... Have... <laughs> uh, Mega Man style jumping. Free air movement. This has Mario jumping. Mario jumping works because it's... It's a platformer, but it's all about the level design. Like, Mario never asks you... To move in this manner. It's not this type of platforming. And I don't know why this is the type of jumping that, that the, the dev went for. Brad Smith, you no. No, 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 no. Jumping, you know, your your mechanics, every every one of your mechanics need to flow together. And if you have a specific type of jumping, you need to figure out levels that um make the best out of those make like why would you make a game that makes you were you were talking about NES hard why make a game that emphasizes the worst that the Nintendo had to offer make a, a game that emphasizes the best and this has the potential to do that there are potentially cool ideas um I think this game wants to be Battle Kid. I, I don't think I would rate Battle Kid very high, personally. So... I feel like I'm supposed to acquire six things to proceed here. Okay, well, I got a coin. But if I die, I'll lose it. See, I know how games work.
<sighs> I I have definitely have been more angry at uh, at other games like I I complain about a lot of stuff but ultimately I don't feel like I'm dying that much so good I guess but when you die it is horrendously punishing Yeah, map system. I mean, the moment I die, this is done. I'm warning you, game. The moment I die, this is done. You wanna get played longer? You better... not make me die! Pretty big. Ah. I feel like I, I'm really daring a lot. Oh, and I, okay, well. Oh my god, please stop. Oh, I can I can explode myself. I forgot about that. Well, that doesn't work. That is way too long. Make it 2 seconds at most. There's there's no reason to make it this long. Ah, this is gonna suck. Come on! Okay, I I'm done. I'm- I'm done. This, this had more potential than is being executed. I- 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 I believe that this could have been pretty awesome. And it wouldn't take that much either. Like, it- add an in-game map. Uh, add, um, immediate death, like, uh, like two seconds. Like, this is, why, I don't know why this is so long. It is super long. And, like, don't make your game fastidious. The, um, I shouldn't have to tell people that, but don't make your game fastidious. People like a challenge, but I think there's a, ch there's a difference between a challenge and being fastidious. He built an a uh, the problem is he built an actual NES game. I mean, but that's fine. You you you, you can have like this in Mega Man I would have made that jump! And that's the problem, like the jump controls suck and you can make great stuff. Like the NES was amazing and there's a lot of stuff that you could still do in those games. Um, and here there's a choice to suck, uh, or, or incompetence. I, either a choice or he didn't understand, like, STOP! No, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Fuck it. Like, the platforming should be better. Make the platforming better. And I, I believe I played a little bit of, uh, Battle Kid. The platforming was a lot better. Considering how precise you're asking your jumps to be, your platforming better be on, on point, and it's not, so screw this game. Uh, I'm done. Uh, Lizard! It's available for $10, gonna be honest, 
it's a little too expensive. Uh, regardless of the uh, the criticisms uh, criticisms that I have, ten seems like a lot. Um, there seems to be stuff to do. Uh, I would not recommend it, but I think it'll appeal to a, a certain segment of the population. So, if it's your thing, go joke it, go uh, check it out. As always, link in the description. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you for a copy of the game through Hulet, I guess. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like ah. controls suck and the controls should not suck like in a game the most for me the most important thing is the controls and this does not deliver so there you go good go check it out or don't until next time my name is kevin jaguer i'll talk to you guys next game hey guys thank you so much for watching you know the drill be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to check out some games i've made like our core Alright, until next time, peace out!